Hello guys, welcome to the year 23rd session of the Entity Framework Code 2.0 tutorial. In last session we will see how to use the different name for the table by using the attribute as well as the model builder. In this session we will see how to use the model builder for the other attribute show which includes the required database generator, string length, column and data type etc. This concept is known as using the Fluent API provided by the Entity Framework Code 2.0. Let's switch to the Visual Studio. I am already deleted the all of the attribute that we are added in the our previous sessions. We will start with the key. To assigning key, we need to first of all write the model builder dot entry. Now I am going to assign key on the book ID as well as the author ID. So retrieving the book model and Call the has key function within the parenthesis. I am going to write the lambda expression in which specify the properties on which I am going to add the key. I am going to add on the ID as well as the author ID. To disable the auto generation, we need to retrieve the property first. For that, we need to write the model builder dot entry of book dot property. Within that, we need to pass the lambda expression and retrieve the a field b dot id. To disable the auto generated value, we need to call the value generate never function. Now I am going to make the uh, book title non-nullable. For that, retrieve the uh, entity. Obtain the uh, property that is a uh, title. And call is required method. For the book, I am also going to set the uh, its maximum size. For that I am going to write the model builder dot entry of a book and retrieve the property within that pass the b dot title and call has max length and within parenthesis we need to pass the maximum length. Now I am going to use the 40 as max length. Now I am going to change the column and name author ID to the publisher ID in the our book table. For that model builder dot entity of book and obtain the its a property that is b such that b dot author ID dot has column and name and pass the name. I am going to use the publisher ID. Now I am going to use the uh, change the data type for that. Write the model builder dot entry of book dot property and obtain the uh, b such that b dot publisher. I am remove the publisher date, so I am going to add again property type of string publish on and write the publish on dot has column type. Within that, we need to pass the data type in the single quote. Note that here we are not use the any enumeration. We need to pass the uh, data type as per the uh, our database. I'm going to use the uh, date time two instead of the uh, string. Let's save it. Run the uh, project. Here error comes. Let's see it. Too many character error. Okay. Here we need to use the uh, double quote. And run it. 
drop the tables and recreate it again. Let's open the management studio and refresh the tables. You can see that the name of the author table is a publisher because we are not removed this line from the uh, on model creating method. Expand the uh, columns of the uh, books. You can see that the uh, ID and the uh, publisher ID both are the uh, primary key. Instead of the author ID, it uses the uh, publisher ID as a name. And uh, size of the uh, title is uh, now and work at 40. And the data type of the publish one is uh, date time 2 instead of the uh, end worker. And the book title is also not null. Let's see what we are learning in this session. In this session, we are using the Fluent API provided by the entity framework code 2. Here, we are using the has key function in which we are specify the lambda expression for the uh, setting the index on the uh, two column perform the operation on at the uh, column level we need to first of all retrieve the uh, property and then call the uh, function here we are use the uh, value generated never function to disabling the identity on the uh, column call the is require function to make the uh, not nullable and use the has max length function to specify the uh, maximum length for the uh, n worker and use the has column name that specify the uh, new name for the column and has column type to change the column data type. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. For making use of the key, we need to use the has key function. For uh, the operation, first of all, we need to retrieve the uh, property and call it call. To create a key, we need to use the has key function and pass the lambda expression to specify the name of that keys. Here we have provided key on the ID and the author ID. To perform the uh, To perform the operation on the uh, column level, first of all, we need to retrieve the uh, property and then call the uh, function. We are use the uh, value generate never function to disable the uh, identity on the uh, column. Is required to make the uh, not null. Has max length to specify the uh, maximum length of that value. Maximum length of the uh, 